Ian Dury was often accompanied on stage by his minder at the start of gigs to help him avoid tripping over leads and equipment. Joni Mitchell adapted her guitar technique to accommodate her weakened arm muscles as a result of childhood polio. Ian Curtis of Joy Division would rouse band and crowd alike with his intense epileptic dance. And to go further back, my hands are shaky and my knees are weak. I can't seem to stand on my own two feet. Who do you thank when you have such luck? Elvis Presley, all shook up, 1956. The out of control pop body has been a persistent feature since the earliest days of popular music. From all shook up in the US, to Johnny Kidd and the Pirates shaking all over in Britain. From rock and roll to the 60s freaks to punk and beyond, there has been a fear and fascination with this out of control body. Pop has accommodated different embodiments and voices, even fetishized them. My name is George Mackay, and I'll be talking about the ways in which disability has been represented, explored, performed, and sung about in London on Thursday the 24th of January. Join me at the Regent Street Cinema or watch live on Facebook or on the UEA website.